Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and today we're here with Laura. Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, Laura and I have been working together for a period of time, and she's been um, a, an amazing individual to work with to watch her kind of blossom, and she's very, very, very creative, which makes coaching really, really fun. And we want to share some things that uh, she's adopted that works for her in, the, um, in her day-to-day -day life, and, and one of those is routines. and. Uh, something as simple as your morning routine and sticking with it and staying on task. So you've got a little something here. Can you tell us about your morning routine and tell you about how you, you use this? Sure. So I use um, something like this, these this, cards. This, hold it up. Hold up. This is, these, are, these are cards. Yeah. Right? Yep. And so this is actually a, uh, a deck um, that was like a selector deck from something that a lot of people have kind of laying around. And um, so I just write one task at a time on each one of these. And this way, when it's closed like this, I only see one thing at a time. Yep, yep. Because otherwise, something like a checklist, it wouldn't work for me. It'd be too overwhelming, and I'd also get really bored. It's the same thing every morning. So um, when I do it this way, it's a little bit easier for me to manage. So like, first thing is this. and. In the which corner, is, which is, I think is take, uh, take my medicine. Take medicines. In the corner is what? <laughs> it says what I take, which is um, uh, allergy medication, Ritalin, and my vitamins. And um, then in the corner, at the very corner, I have um, a little number, which is the amount of time that I set one of my many timers for, <laughs> because uh, using a different timer helps me to stay uh, more. In uh, interested in yep, yep. in what I'm doing or paying more attention to what I'm doing. So then I can just easily flip to the next one, <laughs> just shower. And something as easy as getting in the shower is really hard in the morning. But when I know, okay, I'm just going to do it for 10 minutes, and I tell myself, okay, well, I'm going to do the second card, and if I can't get through that, well, I can get back in bed. I did the second card. But inevitably, every time I finish the second card, um, then I go on to my next card and I just flip it and then so that's like lotion and lotion. spray. So it goes on like that um, to make sure that I do everything. And it's amazing is that if I don't use this, I will forget something pretty important almost every single morning. So not so much like the lotion, I can remember that. But if I don't do it in this order, I usually remember to get dressed, <laughs> <laughs> eat breakfast, but I might forget say, um, to use, I don't know, like to have time to dry my hair. Okay. Um, and it, it, you know, it's not real yep. professional yep. to go into work with your hair wet every day, only every other day. Well, so. Laura, Laura, what, what, what I, this is fascinating to me. What I really like about this is there's so much kind of going on because this kind of, we talked, it kind of fits the way you think because you're able to manage the visual clutter by collapsing it, if you will, right. into something as small as this. You've got the checklist of your morning routine, mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about the executive functioning of remembering what you have to do. You have the, the different colors I kind of like uh, uh -huh. that kind of stand out, and the different timers to kind of keep you on task as you kind of right. walk your way through this. And I, I have to tell you, what. What we really like to do on Attention Talk Video is illustrate obvious solutions that aren't so obvious. Mm -hmm. And this is not something I think you'd find in the self-help section of the bookstore. Right. And what's really kind of cool is I realize how easy it is. The things that I make difficult thinking they should work for me, they never work. So something like this, um, this would work for me. And it maybe wouldn't work for somebody else. But for me, this is what works. And I didn't have to go buy anything, you know. I just realized that, okay, well, if I just do one thing at a time, then, then that's all right, and I need to remember to come back and do the next thing. So, and and, and, and again, one of the things that I really want to highlight is there's so many people with ADD out there that are looking at the top five list of, of general solutions or ADD solutions, and I don't think you'll find any of this. And so, I think this is an example of, of kind of paying attention to how your mind works and adapting a system that works for you. Mm -hmm. And if you if you really follow that, some clever things like this really kind of come up that work. So, Laura, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed it.